Today is all about performance gains from a lightweight chain and a lightweight sprocket. Welcome to Chasing Tense everyone, my name is Abby and welcome to this new episode of 2 Minute Tuesday where I quickly in 2 minutes talk about a very important upgrade for road and race and I don't take too much of your precious time so let's start straight away with super lightweight chain and sprocket and how they are beneficial. Number one, why would you chain uh, change your chain and sprocket? Number one, you kind of it's, it's worn out. Number two, if you kind of like like anodized stuff and a lot of people go for blingy anodized chain and, and kind of sprocket. Number three, most important is performance, uh, getting that brilliant exit out of the corner or top in speed. So let's start the two minute timer and let's talk about this upgrade. Now manufacturers normally give you a 530 pitch chain sprocket and chain kit or 525 pitch chain and sprocket kit. Now this could be heavier, this could be thicker. Now with the most common upgrade, which which is a 520 upgrade not only the chain is lighter the sprockets are thinner so they are lighter as, as well so you save about anything between half a kilo to a kilo and a half and this unsprung mass gives you better exit out of the corners and if you want to change those sprockets to get the top end speed that's totally up to you now very quickly let me tell you by doing some smaller changes how this can benefit your 1000 cc bike or 600 cc or 750 cc bike or any other bike so with the 1000 cc all you have to do is add two teeth to the stock rear sprocket and you will get a bike which is not too much really happy and also it's not too aggressive it's just right if you want to do more changes that's totally up to you with a 600 or a 750 cc bike or a 900 cc bike all you got to do is go one tooth down in front and that's kind of all you need in terms of more you can play around with the rear sprocket more on that and you'll get more performance in terms of top end speed or kind of better exit out of the corner now very quickly last three things i really want to discuss is sprockets you've got a number of sprockets to choose from you've got the normal aluminium sprocket which is very light but it weighs very quickly or you can change uh, to a aluminium sprocket with a anodized coat lasts a little bit longer or if you are a, a, a tourer or someone who really likes to do a lot of miles on the road you've got a full steel sprocket it's heavier but it lasts very long my favorite is a sprocket which has an internal and aluminium part but outer steel part so you've got the lightness inside but you also got the uh, kind of strongness of steel finally you've got carbon sprockets out there now I've not tried one yet but if you try one let me know or let me know in the comment section if you have tried one finally I also want to mention two things number one your sprocket life also heavily depends on your change kind of chain tightness so make sure that is properly tighten finally if you've got an older bike and if you make this change you might need a speedo healer because your speedo might show 70 and you're probably doing 50 and your odometer can change also if you've got a newer bike don't worry about it you've got speed sensors built in the front wheel you'll be absolutely fine so guys i hope you thought i kept it short and simple in terms of unsprung mass keep your weight low and keep the bikes unsprung mass low and you'll get great performance on the racetrack stop chasing horsepower it's all about lightness especially with unsprung mass what i am using for my bike the rsv4 rf is a tsubaki racing professional sealed tx4 ring gold chain now this is the same chain which is used in the ducati v4r and the super leggera ducati v4 so it's a pretty light chain and i'm using rental sprockets if you want to go for something similar or a another brand chain i collaborate with road race performance shropshire and they are based in the uk all the details are in the description Please give them a ring, mention my, uh, my channel's name, Chasing Tents. You'll get anything from 5 to 10% or even more, depending on the product. Thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. I'd be really grateful. There's some more really nice stuff coming on the channel.